I'm WPDE Sports Director Rich Crampanis at Sun Life Stadium in Miami. Thanks so much for logging on to CarolinaLive.com for our extensive post-game coverage of the Orange Bowl as West Virginia puts on a dominating performance, beating Clemson 70-33, to the final score. And after the game, everyone was talking about one play that absolutely turned the momentum. It came with Clemson about to go up 24-21 in the second quarter. Andre Ellington fumbled a 99-yard return by Darwin Cook, totally changed the face of the game. Clemson never recovered from that one play, and from there, the beatdown by West Virginia began. Well, I mean, it was a pretty big moment. Uh, you know, like I said, cause we, we, uh, they hadn't really stopped us. You know, we, we were scoring, but they were matching us, and we couldn't get a stop. And so we'd get momentum, and then we'd lose momentum. Get momentum, lose momentum. Uh, and that was going to be a huge swing for us. Uh, but like I said, it's going to put us up 24 to 21. We're right back in this thing and, and uh, still still searching for a stop. Um, but uh, that, that was huge. I mean, that was a big, big play because now all of a sudden I believe it was 28 to 17. And um, and then again, we, we all of a sudden we, we uh, you know, continue to have another turnover here and there. And, and it just snowballed quickly. Clemson was driving down uh, to put another touchdown on the board. But we kept playing, and we looked for an opportunity <clears throat> to make a play. And you know, making one when our backs are against the wall on the one-yard line is something that's pretty cool to see. Well, we lost just because you know momentum shifted, and we couldn't swing it back our way. I mean, look at Georgia Tech game, North Carolina State. Momentum shifts. It's hard to come back from momentum shifts. You know, that's just one of the things that you learn as a team. And you know, one of the things I want to work on is. How do you bring your back from? How do you bring your team back from a situation like that? And uh, all I can do is just keep working. It was a bad, uh, bad mistake on my part. You know, I shouldn't have stretched the ball out in that situation. Uh, you know, the guy he, he had a, he had a, uh, a great grip on it. Um, you know, give him the credit for for actually going after it in that situation. Did you find that there was an emotional change in the team when the big play, the 99-yard play, and then the touchdowns right after that? Uh, of course, I mean, everybody put their head down when that happened when Andre, because most people thought he was in, and everybody put their head down as if the refs were cheating, but, I mean, the refs called the shot. They knew what happened. He fumbled or whatever, got stripped, so just move to the next play. But I think we kind of got down when they uh, scored all those points in, in a short amount of time. Just got, uh, got off track, guys started pressing and, and got out of position and, and just uh, – didn't execute very well, and that's on me. And so it is what it is. It's on me because I, it's my job to get them to execute and get them ready. And, you know, we practiced well and uh, thought we had a good plan. And then and, and it uh, just didn't uh, couldn't, couldn't get the bleeding stop. What do you tell your guys moving forward? A little bit quick for that answer right now. I mean, we're new year, new 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 team. Everything's new. I mean, I've told you before, we start over. So, I mean, six weeks ago didn't have nothing to do with next year, and this won't either. You just, you know, been been around long enough where hey, I've lost the Orange Bowl and won the national championship the next year. Lost an ugly Orange Bowl and won the national championship. 